welcome to home school this year class 7 mathematics ncrt or cbsc board we are in our chapter 3 data handling and this is your last session of this chapter exercise 3.4 first problem tell whether the following is certain to happen impossible can happen but not certain what is this this is probability probability it is a chance of happening or not happening a event we have discussed what is the probability and what is the event, what is the outcome, we already have discussed this in introductory part. Tiny introduction there in this chapter, uh, deeper of this chapter you are going to study in your future classes. Here we have only chance or happening or not happening, is it possible or it is impossible, we have. So what is this certain to happen, impossible and not certain? Suppose uh, something it will be happening, compulsory it will happen, right? That is called as a, it is a chance to happen, certain to happen. Means sun rises, every day it rises and every day it sets, yes or no? Sun rises tomorrow if I say, yes, every day it definitely it rises, right? It is certain to happen. And I may ask you that, uh, now it may rain, will it rain? It may rain or it may not rain. So what you can say, can happen but not certain, but we are not sure. Snow falls today. Do snow falls for our climate? No, it cannot be possible. So that event is called as a impossible event. Right? Let's answer some questions are there. Let's try to answer here. First one, yeah, older today than yesterday. Yes or no? Yes, obviously, yeah, older than yesterday. Today you are older than yesterday. Now, what you can write for this children? It is certain to happen. Yes, it compulsory, it will be happening. It is a sure event. A tossed coin will land heads up. Tossed coin, if you toss a coin and it falls down, will it land heads up? Don't know, it may be heads or tails. How can you say it is heads? So what you can say here, can happen but not sure. Can happen but not certain. It may be heads or it may be tails. May happen or may not happen. So that event how we call can happen but not certain. Third one, a die when tossed shall land up with eight on top. Do you know die? Yes. How many faces it have? Six faces. What are the numbers will it be having? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do you see anywhere 8? No, we cannot see any 8 on die. So what you can say, this event is impossible. 8 never comes when you throw a die. You write this as impossible event. Next one. The next traffic light scene will be green. Who knows next traffic signal either it may be green or red which color how can you guess maybe may not be so what you can write that one can happen but not certain can happen but not sure sure or certain both are same last one in this tomorrow will be a cloudy day Cloudy, maybe, may not be. So, what you are going to say? Can happen, but not certain. They asked us to classify these sub questions with these three answers. Either it may be happening or maybe not happening or it is impossible. Right? Definitely it happens. You write it with certain to happen. If it is not at all possible, impossible may have a chance of happening or not happening you can write it with can happen but not certain second problem 
there are six marbles in a box with numbers from 1 to 6 let me draw a box here in this six numbers are there children 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 3 4 5 6 okay you can see a box in that box there are six marbles on each marble it is numbered with 1 2 3 4 5 6 six marbles are there in a box what is the probability of drawing a marble with number 2? Before starting this, you should know the probability formula. What is that probability of an even formula? P of A is equal to N of A by N of S. Probability of an event is equal to number of possible outcomes by total number of outcomes. What is this N of S? Total, total number of outcomes or you may write it as sample spaces. How you can write children? First let us write with total number of outcomes. Number of outcomes means N of you will say. These I may say it as sample spaces also. S is equal to what are all the numbers you have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6. Now, now you can take this sentence. Total number of outcomes is equal to number of num number of means count and say how many numbers you have? 6 numbers. N of S is equal to 6. Now, event N of A. N of A is what children? What is the question they asked? What is the probability of drawing a marble with number 2? With the number 2, how many marbles are there in that? Only 1. So, number of marbles, you can write here as A is equal to 2, N of A is equal to 1. Only 1 marble, no? So, apply here 1 by 6. That is your answer. Right? Always for all sub questions, uh, sample space is same. Whereas according to the event, your A or B value will be changed. You can take different letters, children. First sub question I have taken A. Second sub question you can take B. Look here. What is the probability of drawing a marble with number 5? Let B be the event. 5, how many marbles are there in the box? Only 1. What is that marble? 5. Number of marbles with number 5 is equal to 1. What is the probability of the event? P of B is equal to N of B by N of S. N of B. Number of favorable outcomes. How many are there? 1. Total number of outcomes? 6. This is your answer. Whatever question asked, you can answer. Okay, let's answer here. How many even number of marbles are present? Even. Look here. 1, 2, 3. You write it as C is equal to 2, 4, 6. N of C is equal to 3. Probability is 3 by 6. Okay, like this. Any question asked, you will be able to answer. Last problem in this chapter. Third one. A coin is flipped to decide which team starts the game. What is the probability that your team will start? How will be game started children? When you toss a coin, a coin is flipped or when a coin is tossed. What are all the possible outcomes here? Look here. Possible. All the possible outcomes. When a coin is flipped. What are the outcomes here children? Outcomes or I can write it as sample spaces. S is equal to head or tail. Head or tail you represent with a flower brackets. This is called as a flower bracket. What are all the possible outcomes? 
when you flip a coin, either head or tail. How many outcomes? N of S is equal to 1, 2. Count and say. N of means number of. Number of means you need to count and write the answer. What is the probability that your team will start? What is the probability that the team will start? The team will be starting either you may get head, one team will be started or if you get tail, another team will be started. So, your outcome will be one. Any of this outcome if you get either head, if you get head, one team will be started. If you get tail, another team will be started. That means what is the probability? Any one you select outcome will be one only you are going to get. Out of total outcomes, two. Why? You know the formula probability of an event is equal to number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes that is equal to one by two is your answer. If you get hit, it is also one by two. If you get a probability of getting tail, it is also one by two. The probability of starting a game is equal to one by two. With this, we are going to end our session and also our data handling chapter. In our next session, we are going to start with another new chapter. Until that, keep watching children. Thank you all. In your description box, you can see the other chapters playlist also. If you want to recap or if you want to practice again, you can go with the description box. Thank you all. Thank you.